today I have several plans, several things that I want to do. One involves refined storage. I need to actually get a pattern grid just sort of plopped in here for right now. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it will be connected to the network at some point. I want to get auto crafting sort of set up like some sort of basis of auto crafting. But the main part of today's video is going to be finding the end and taking on the Ender Dragon. Well, that's just a small part. And then, of course, raiding the end cities and seeing how much loot we can get from those. Because I know there's bound to be a ton of loot. And once we get our spell book and we have ourselves an elytra, well, things are going to get a little interesting as far as our movement goes. Uh, because we will be able to basically create um, ourselves a way of, of flying that will be able to utilize our robes, which is pretty awesome. So let's get into auto crafting. So today, I think getting into the extra storage mod is going to be pretty awesome. You can see right here, this is what a normal crafter looks like. And I think getting the uh, the basics of refined storage, uh, ma like materials auto crafted will be perfect. And like the, the best thing to start off automating. So this is a crafter. This is actually what allows us to automate. Um, and it's very, very simple. All we need is some cables. And we are ready to rock and roll, right? So underneath here, I'm probably going to set these off to the side. I want them to kind of look like pillars. They're going to be off to the side here. Let's see. One will go here. One can go here. Off to the corner there and another one right there. So with that, I need to get our cables down to this. But this is going to be the main part of the... Uh, setup today let's see get that set there and basically this is going to go straight up now by default it only has nine slots but if we just go ahead and upgrade this to the first set it's actually really nice so all it's going to require is a couple of blocks of iron i think i might have everything for this and just this one alone is going to be like having two of these or actually three of these set up as you can see now there's even more storage. And this is all for patterns, by the way. Um, now for regular processing, you probably want to utilize something different than this. You probably want to use just a regular one. Uh, but this, like even the first tier would be great for, for example, smelting things, if you have this much stuff to smelt. Um, so let's go ahead and get patterns. Let's see, pattern, I guess the first thing that is always like best to make is a pattern. Uh, so we have the, let's see, I think I already used it for crafting because I had to, I had to use one to make this actual pattern grid itself. So there's the pattern. And now we have a pattern created. Let's create a pattern for our patterns. Yes. Um, I'll go ahead and create this and there we go. We have a pattern for our patterns and that can go in here. And now all I have to do is find patterns. Right, and I can go ahead and craft some, right? But we're missing the quartz, so it'd probably be a good idea to also have this set up and crafted with a pattern. Let's go ahead and just make one more. And this will set up our pattern crafting. So, pattern. And I'll make like, I don't know, 10 of them, right? And there we go. So we can go ahead and start. And as you can see, the pattern's generating. Now, this is perfect for things that we can craft regularly, but it's, I'm going to go in a little bit more depth with um, smelting and everything else, getting the processing set up, uh, which isn't going to be too bad. We already kind of have everything set up. We, ha we have our, uh, our importers here. I think what I'll end up doing, though, is in the back of this setup, right, we should be able to import into this, like this barrel, for example. Um, like this barrel. If I want to process things in the furnace, all I have to do is have it imported into this barrel here, and it should cook, and then it'll go into here and go back into our system. Um, and that is going to have to happen because if I want to get automation done on the processors, well, I'm going to need that. So I'm going to need another regular crafter. Now, just like I said, I have my crafter set up, and I need this to technically face the other way. Um, I don't know if, let's see, we need to make the wrench here. Like I'm gonna need a little bit more of that. This is the wrench that you would use to rotate this around. 
Um, so I don't know if any of the other wrenches work. I have found that usually the only wrench that will rotate these, of course, is the refined wrench. Um, but there we go. It is now facing the appropriate direction. I want it facing into the barrel because that's the side that it inputs the items into uh, or exports the items out of the network and goes into the uh, the barrel. So it should be able to put the items here and then this is going to smelt and then over here. So we should be able to set some process patterns to work there. And that's just basically how the processing pattern works. And that's for anything that has an input and output. You basically just define what your input output is and then uh, you should have a product that uh, happens because of the set input and output. Um, and to get the processing, you just click the processing right here. This will do fluids and all kinds of stuff. The thing I'm interested in getting done is the smelting from the processors in the raw state to the regular basic or to the regular process that are cooked. Um, and to do that, it's just smelting. And I say one to one, create that. This one, one to one. And last but not least, this one, one to one. That's basically it. Now I still need to create the regular crafting recipe for it that, cre uh, that allows us to craft the raw. But all I have to do is put this in here and we are gonna have auto crafting pretty much set up for refined storage. It's actually kind of simple, um, but it is a great thing to sort of teach you how these systems work. Um, now, back to this, we're gonna switch back to the regular and refined. Make sure this is uh, set to JEI synchronized. There we go. And then I'll just go ahead and craft these. And of course, you probably also want to set this to have a crafting recipe. Um, I believe silicon, you also want to have a crafting recipe. This one's going to be a processing. As you can see, it automatically jumped to the processing for me. This is going to go in the processing one. And then this should automatically jump back. And now we have everything. You hit shift, it shows you. If I run back over here, I can at least get the processing piece set up. This one right here, we can throw that in. And I think that's it for everything else. I'm missing the gold one. Head back over here. You gotta love being able to like jump and bounce around. That's so nice. Uh, I think it's just gold, right? So we'll get our gold in. And I'll put all of these in here. And now I can go into refined and finally be able to craft something like, I don't know, these processors. Let's just, for example, let's say I don't have any diamond. I can go, hey, let's craft 10 of them. And it's, it's gonna go ahead and craft them and then it should pull them out, put them into that barrel. At least it's supposed to. For some reason, it's not doing that. Should be putting them into the barrel. And it's not. Interesting. Oh, weird, I must have clicked the wrong thing because it did do the craft. Did I just literally craft raw processors? Let's go ahead and craft 10 non-raw processors. And there it goes. Okay, okay. So yeah, I must have just crafted the raw version. Forgive me. Oh boy. Now that I have this sort of automation set up, the, even the basics like this, Refined has this really cool feature. Even Applied Energistics has it now as well. Uh, but if I go to Refined, right, and I don't have the items required inside of the uh, grid for crafting, um, I can just hold down Control to request them. Um, so, for example, let's see, what's something that uh, I can craft? So, for example, the quartz. Um, if I don't have enough quartz for the craft inside the storage, let's just go ahead and toss this out for right now. Uh, instead of me requesting the need for that, I can just go... I can hit, I can control click this and it'll pull up a crafting request for those six items. And there they are. And then now I can go back and craft the items. So this is fantastic and is going to be incredibly helpful when I'm fumbling to try and craft something. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and make the one thing that I've been wanting to make for a long time. And that is the structure compass. Oh boy, we now have enough stuff to be able to make this. There's that. And then, last but not least, we combine this together. And voila, we have an incredibly overpowered compass. Yeah, this thing is crazy. We can, we should be able to find structures. No structure has been set, so shift right click. And as you can see, 
this is all of the different structures. So we've Dungeon Arise uh, Coliseum, for example. I can select that and right click. And it should work. Should is the question. It looks like it's lagging a little bit because nothing's happening. Can't open any inventory just yet. So it's a searching all right. And as you can see, it's found it. And it is 6,000 blocks away, this Dungeon Arise Coliseum. Um, so yeah, this thing is pretty powerful. Um, we should even be able to use it to technically locate the, uh, van the vanilla dungeon, like to be able to find the end portal. So for example, I just searched the mod and as you can see, we have fortress, end city, I mean, everything's here. Igloos, we can search specifically for igloos if you want to. Here's the mine, here's a mine shaft, mansions, uh, my, the mesa. I mean, there's just so much here. The one, of course, we're looking for, though, is the stronghold. So I can select that and then back out and then do a search. Uh, stronghold has been located too many blocks away. I don't think that is the stronghold. Um, you know, I spoke so highly on this and here it is letting me down because it's even pointing in this direction, but it's going in this direction. So let's just use the vanilla mechanics, I guess. Ah, I think I know why the strongholds messed up is because there's a mod in here called bettered strongholds that is modifying the strongholds. That would make a lot more sense. Yeah, and the fact that this is actually leading us to that place, oh, makes it a lot easier. So this thing is telling me that right here is where it's at. I mean, the compass is rotating right around this central point. So this must be it. I think I have everything as well to be able to fight the dragon, no problem. At least I hope so. Hopefully this takes us like right to the portal. Oh, this is no, this is no good. No, no, bad, bad. <laughs> oh no, this is a spider's den. This is not what I came here for. Okay, maybe I can continue down without any problems. The fact that there's spiders there is honestly horrifying. So it doesn't seem like it was straight down. It is definitely over here somewhere. So I can kind of see it on the mini map. I'm not quite sure why I haven't fully found it yet. But then again, there's a bunch of other structures that seem to be kind of overlapping this thing. I think I found it. It is definitely right down here. Oh boy. Okay. I am pretty familiar with this type of dungeon. Uh, this underground spawn is really, really cool. Like this, I wish this was how the vanilla underground dungeon was, to be honest. It is so fantastic. But yeah. Take a look at all this. So, uh, we should have some books in here but I really need to find the main structure and it could take a little bit of time to find that. Ah, I knew there was chests up here. There had to be, there had to be chests, yeah. So I'm gonna grab some books. I'm gonna try and grab as much of the stuff as I possibly can while also searching because yeah, enchanted books are still, they're gonna be super good, especially after we do this. There's a special thing that I wanna make that is specifically for these uh, enchanted books and a way we can store them and use them and Pull them out, ah, it's, it's fantastic. Speaking of looting, might as well loot this bunk, which normally, yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot to it. But you might get uh, something nice, like look at that. There's, I'm gonna grab these because I think we can break these down later on for some better loot. Look at this, oh, we got some warp scrolls. These are basically like free teleportation, like a waystone, but way better. This right here is like the main court area. I love this. As you can see, there's dragon heads on here. Um, it should be off to the side of like one of these doors. So you, you, we have like four corridors. So there's one there, one there, one here, and one here. And if we go off uh, of any of these, we should potentially come across what we're looking for. And it can be down any of these hallways. It can be here. 
be upstairs. Stairs are actually a good sign. Usually the portal is around this stuff. Or right in front of my face. Okay, well, there we go. So, just like that. It looks like we got a boss right beforehand. Let's get these guys cleaned up. And this works really good <laughs> with a bunch of mobs together. But yeah, this right here. Here we go. And by the way, me breaking these spawners, we actually keep them. Like, because I have Silk Touch on here, it actually keeps them. But look at that. Oh boy. We'll get all of these placed in. And then... Last but not least, the final one. Oh boy, and the portal is ignited. Um, now I think I want to put a waystone here. Portal? Or end? And this is how we'll just get back. Um, other than that, it'll be when we die. I think I am just about ready to fight this dragon. Wow, that's, uh, it's quicker than I thought. Okay, um... I'm all snowballed ready, I got some bottles, and the only thing I didn't bring was a pickaxe, or sorry, a, the only thing I didn't bring was a sword, so hopefully I can do magic damage to it. You know what, I'm gonna run back home and grab a sword, just in case. So, moment of truth, let's go and hope, hope this dragon is, uh, not too deadly, not too deadly. And here we are. Okay. Um, never quite know what direction we're facing. Let's make our way out. And then I've got a dragon to kill. I did bring snowballs for a reason. We're going to see right here. I, I tend to use either snowballs or I can, t I can usually snipe these pretty good. But snowballs work so good. If you just get right under the corner there. Boom. You can blow these things up so easy. Um, I don't know if this spell will work very well, but... You know, just for this purpose... Shooting a snowball... At these things... <laughs> jumping one from the other... It's definitely gonna be the way to go. For sure. Like, this this dragon shouldn't harm, harm us too much. Now, that thing down there... That's got me a little worried. That's a legendary. Little more dangerous. Yeah, what do you think, dragon? Get out of here. Get out of here with that. You don't scare me. Okay, this this kind of scares me, though. That didn't go where I wanted it to go. But yeah, the dragon should be fairly easy to kill. Once we get to the point. I'm, I'm wondering if the spells work on it, though. Like, that's what's got me curious. Is the spells. All right, let's get out of this. I do need to grab some dragon's breath. Hopefully I remember. It's crazy how good the snowballs actually work on this. The Enderman is looking me right in the eyes. Let's get up here real quick. Surely I can take a little bit of damage. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't hurt at all. I think that's all of them. Oh, no, we still have these two. Other than that... Should be it, and... We'll pop down, and hopefully the harming spell... Because I know it works on Intermin. Hopefully it works on the dragon? I'm not too sure. I do need it, though, to shoot me. So I can grab some of its dirty breath. What down here dropped a pickaxe? Wait, what? Did it kill one of the bosses? Can the dragon do that? I guess it can. I don't have a clue. Oh, okay, I about to say, I don't know where the dragon's at. This will be my chance to test this out. I feel like it's going to have magic resistance. Yeah. Definitely has some magic resist. Try and pick all this up. All right, come here. Oh boy. <coughs> Thank goodness. Like this is the way to farm it right here. I just spitting out bad breath. Oh man, this this guy is definitely strong. Oh, and it's regening. Hold up, we did not destroy the final one. Ooh. 
Ah, so that, that's probably a good thing to do, right? Is to definitely destroy that. Yeah, it definitely seems like the dragon's got a little bit of chunky health there. That's okay, because all that's going to do is just prolong its ultimate demise. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I tried the regular harming spell, and it works. So the regular harming spell actually does damage. Oh, that's pretty sick. So, I mean, I could just do this all day. And not really run out of mana. Oh, boy. This will be fun. This should be the end of this. I'm just gonna spam it. And there it goes. Nice. All right. Need to make sure to grab all the experience and everything that uh, potentially went to where my bed was at through the portal. But yeah, there we go. And I do need to grab the egg. Let's grab that real quick. I think I can potentially grab one of these. There we go. And we'll go ahead and grab this egg. Boop. And get the final bit here. The next generation. Very nice. Told you, told you the dragon didn't have long to live. Yeah, we were, we were definitely going to take care of that. Now for the fun part. We need to go to the in cities. Um, let's see. I could, I can go ahead and probably use this on this guy. As I just need an ender pearl. Come on. I didn't bring any ender pearls with me, so that's going to be, that's going to be a thing. So with this, I hope I aim just right. And failed. Don't actually know if it went in or not. That's, that was kind of odd, but I totally forgot. This is the end that is prettified and looks absolutely amazing, by the way. And we should be able to get through this really easy because of ours being able to just glide from one place to another. But I am looking for the, uh, the in city. However, I'm not quite sure how the structure compass is going to have it listed. So end underscore city. And hopefully it's just a regular one. We'll find out if it gives us like 5,000 blocks away. Okay, so it looks like there is one off in this direction. At least for now, there's one out here. It's only a thousand blocks away. Not very far. I almost want to just walk because of how cool looking these biomes are. Every time, every time I play this, I'm just like, man, this is pretty sick. And there is some Endermen off doing some wacky Enderman stuff. Oh man, you can't ask for any better. This right here. Let's pop on over. It's actually the ship as well. So, man, I cannot wait to get an Elytra to have a little nice flight, glidey flight. So the flight that I've been dealing with. This is very nice. Can I harm this? Ooh, I can. Okay. And you teleported, but not too far away. And we have our Elytra. Very nice. And what awesome loot do we get while we're here? Ooh, a blessed shield. Of the jester very cool and a music disc i'm gonna take all of the weapons and stuff because that could lead to some really nice stuff later on some really nice gear we could potentially set up now something that i'm going to be hunting later on for sure is going to be this dragon head so i definitely want to grab it now while i can uh because i'm going to be hunting for more of them later on they're really useful for apotheosis and uh definitely help with that whole uh, what is it? The, the, uh, uh, magic or the arcana stuff that you have to worry about? Yep, it's gonna be fantastic for that. Also, I wonder, is there anything in this? What a small little end city. This is the smallest one I've seen. Doesn't even have a loot room in it. So I am now back and we have our bounty board completed. We got ourselves some of that sweet dragon XP plus a thousand XP there. So we now have 
a nice amount of XP. Very nice. So like I said, once I got the Elytra, I was wanting to use it for something very special. And that is for this thread. So I should be able to put this here and two of these. Don't know if this costs anything to do this. Doesn't seem like it. It's just the crafting recipe. So we get these all enchanted together. And... I will now have kind of a modular upgrade for my chess piece. We place this in here. Let's take this out. And I think this can go in there. I'll pull this out and I will put the magic inside of my pants slot. There we go. And now I should have an elytra. This is going to be crazy because I can now dash and glide around. And it's just a part of my chess piece. Like, what even? It's so good. This is so good. As if Nouveau wasn't good enough. We just strapped some wings onto our back. Oh my goodness. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now that we have access to the end, all kinds of stuff kind of opens up, including Unobtainium, which is sort of the later to late mid game lockout of items. So once we find some Obtainium, Ooh, things are going to get really, really spicy. Can't wait to unlock some of those really powerful items that are sort of locked away behind that. But of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the supporter of today's video. And that, my friends, is going to be a huge thanks going to Fuchs. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord. Becoming a Discord premium member and supporting me in one of the best ways possible. Of course, guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to check me out over on Twitch as you might enjoy my content over there as well. That is twitch.tv or slash chosen architect where I do live stream about four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And uh, of course, guys, I've been playing some Vault Hunters over there, so you might, you might want to check that out. It's pretty sick, pretty sick mod pack, and I would love for you guys to join me there. Uh, but guys, if you would, click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.